Guys, look at my cup. <laughs> I need iced coffee. How good is that? Yum. Today I'm so excited. Wait, I feel like I didn't even say hello. Hello, how are you guys? Today we are trying out a full phase of K-beauty. I'm so excited. I love Korean beauty products. It's something I've always featured on my channel ever since the beginning. I feel like it started back in the day with like Leo Ellie BB cream and the Misha BB cream. Um, you guys know. I'm just a huge fan of K-beauty. It's a big passion of mine. I love trying out their stuff because it's so good. And I feel like their trends are, you know, the kind of thing I like. Glowy skin. I quite like that natural vibe too and like the pastel colors and stuff like that. So we're going to try a full face today. And I was kindly gifted this stuff. I think it was Yes Style. Reached out and gave me a massive um, like gift card. And so I did some shopping. I'm very excited to try everything. I don't think I've tried any of the stuff, but I am familiar with a lot of the brands. There's a few new ones too, so let's dive in. I thought I'd switch it up and actually start with a little bit of skincare because they always seem to give you like free face masks and things. So I thought why not, you know, try one out. I actually got two. They sent it in two different parcels, which was handy because I didn't get stung with customs. Yeah, so I'm going to try one of these. This is by the brand Pure Derm for your pure skin. Aloe Collagen Mask. Um, I'm just hoping it's going to be nice and hydrating. I haven't moisturized today. I had a shower and cleansed my skin and everything. And then just, you know, got ready to film. So this is going to give me some moisture. How long do I leave it on for? It says 15 to 20 minutes. I don't even know if I'll leave it on. I might leave it on for like 10 minutes. We'll see how we go. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with sheet masks. I love sheet masks. I don't do them nearly enough considering how much I do love a good moisture boost. I do use moisturizing face masks a lot. Like, you know, just like a creamy formula. Oops, I ripped it. But yeah, I don't often go for a sheet mask. I don't even know why because I've got so many of them. So I need to get back into them. Have you guys seen that TikTok of that guy that puts on sheet masks? And he puts it on so effortlessly and it just like hugs his skin. I'm like, how? Like when I put it on, it's just a mess. You get like all these big friggin' folds and things. But oh well. I don't know what's happening with this eye flap. And then while this is on, I'm going to put these on next. So I'm going to start with my eye makeup today. Because I want to use this. I haven't used one of these little eye masks in a long time. I love them. Oh my god, so stop. So these are by the brand You Harder. I'll link everything below and like list everything as well in case you want to pick up anything. This stuff ranged from like really affordable to like a few more expensive pieces too. So these are the Pink Collagen Hydro Gel Eye Patches. Love the packaging, really pretty. And then inside, it's a white jar. And I love these because they don't just come in like a single, um, you know, sleeve, like plastic sleeve. Like you get a whole jar of eye masks and I used to have a different brand that was similar to this. Look at that. Like how good. You get tons in there. So we'll pop them on next. There's 60 in here. Alright, I'm gonna let this sit on my face for yeah 10 to 15 minutes and uh we'll be right back. These are really nice just to like wake you up in the morning. You can put them in the fridge, let them cool down so you put them on it's like depuffing almost and it really wakes you up or you can use them last thing at night before bed just to pamper yourself while you relax and watch some TV or whatever. Guys, okay, it's not been 15 minutes yet, but look what I found. I bought freaking temporary tattoos. Why? I don't know. But we're going to put them on. And they go with my jewelry. That wasn't even planned. Did I just break my nail? No. Okay. They got heaps of random stuff on this website, like home stuff and like lifestyle and things. So I don't know. I must have just seen these and been like, ooh. <laughs> All right. So there's a bigger one and a smaller one. I'm just cutting around them. I'm trying to do this from memory from like being a child. <laughs> I can't even remember how to do it properly. I just remember like wetting it. So hopefully this is right. I thought they want like hair. Alright, I do have a dripping freaking cloth here. So I'm just gonna <laughs> chill for a few seconds. If this looks good, I really want to get heaps and heaps of them. And just like tattoo up my whole like neck and chest and do like a friggin transformation into like a friggin tattered girl. <laughs> okay, it's like why? Oops. One. <laughs> this freaking flap. Oh gosh. I remember buying those little gum packets from the Foursquare that had tattoos in them. God, those were the days. Growing up in the 90s was just superior. Watch me get heaps of people being like, no. <laughs> no, I feel like most of you guys that watch me are 90s babies. Comment below. Your 90s baby, 80s, 2000s. It's a bit weird how they're white. I thought they'd be black. Okay, this is just annoying. So we're just going to take this off. And I'm just going to pat 
like the essence into my skin feels nice and then just before I do the eye patches I did come across this which I picked up as well it is by Innisfree which is a brand I've always really liked this is the tea tree seed eye and face ball double squeeze green tea and green tea seed from the Jeju Island and it looks like this if I like it I'm gonna get it for my mum because she loves eye creams that have the little roller ball because she says that they like really wake her up all right so I'll squeeze them out I'm just gonna first Moisturize. Mm, smells good. Oh, that feels really good and really massages. It's really nice. It'd be really nice to help depuff. And if you have a beauty fridge, once again, this would be so nice in the beauty fridge because it would like cool down the ball as well. Oh, yeah, I like that. Now into the eye patches. And I feel like I always put these around the wrong way. So does the fat part go like right under my eye? I don't know how long I'll last with this on. Oh my god, Zeus, what a brat. So I'm just going to pop those on like that. They'll probably slide around a little bit because I've got the eye serum on, but it still feels nice. I'm going to start with concealer. So we have the Cleo Kill It Cover Liquid Concealer in the shade Lingerie. Now, the thing is, I've got a bit of fake tan on, and I feel like a lot of these base products are going to be quite pale. That's one thing with K-Beauty, like the shade ranges are pretty trash when it comes to the like foundations and concealers. Like they usually only do a couple of shades, which is so weird and bizarre, but that's just the way it is. So this is the color we've got. Packaging's nice, like a little frosted moment and a really small doe for applicator. I'm just gonna run this around my eyes just to conceal the redness before we do our eyeshadow. A little bit on top too. And then I'm just using a petal brush to outline my brows. The coverage is quite nice and I really like it once you like let it sit on your skin for a moment and it just kind of like adds more coverage if that makes sense. Like it goes more tacky because it's quite liquidy when you first apply it but now it's really nice after just sitting there for 10 seconds. Very good coverage too. Oh my god my arms are shaking. I worked out my upper body today and my arms are shaking whenever I try to like lift them. That's why I've just got this boring hairstyle. I was gonna like curl my hair and everything and I just couldn't like I couldn't even lift my arms so I just committed to this. I am really bad with my arms. I'm trying to get stronger arms. Like I've got really strong legs and my core's not too bad, but upper body strength, man, just no. I'm literally here shaking, just friggin' blending out my concealer. Right, so I have this little eye palette here by Three Concept Eyes. I love this brand, it's such a cool brand and all of their like colors and everything are just like up my alley. So definitely check them out. You can get them off Style Nanda or off this website. So this is like a little quad situation. This is the Three Concept Eyes Mini Multi Eye Color Palette in Diamond Glint. Oh my goodness, they're stunning. There's like a little pressed glitter, like very Huda Beauty vibes. And then some glittery eyeshadow. So honestly, I feel like, let me darken this. I feel like we're going to have to use like a contour kit on the eyes with this because obviously those colors are all shimmery. So we'll just play around. The Cleo Pro Contour Palette. I'll be using these later on on my face. Ooh, this is so nice. And it looks like that. Those colors look really good for my skin tone. And this is in the shade Mute Hazel. So I'm gonna take a crease blender brush and I'm gonna take maybe the lighter, kind of warmer tone. And I'm gonna start by just patting that in the crease. And I'm gonna do like a really nice fresh look today, I think. That concealer is sitting really nicely too. It's not like smudging everywhere. It's set really good. I definitely would recommend moisturizing first because I feel like it would pick up on dry skin. I do have really dry eyelids and I can see a little bit of texture, but the little eye cream I did before helped. And here's these. Oh, it stopped. Now it's just sitting there. God damn it. I'm going to take the darkest color and just pop a little bit in the very deep parts and outer corners. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to try everything I picked up in today's video, so obviously I'll pop with the rest in my new stuff drawer for my next full face first impressions. We can try a bit more. My eyebrows are so hairy. Okay, these are driving me nuts at this point. I feel like they'd be best on dry skin, like not moisturized skin, before you do everything else. But, oh, that feels so good though. Wow. It's glowing. So I'm going to let that settle in while we do it. Eye makeup. I'm going to take a bit of the more bronze shade and start by patting that on the outer half of my eyelid. So pretty. This top color here. 
and put that on the inner corner area or like inner lid and I feel like if you put these on with your fingers you'll get a way more heavily pigmented look whereas with the brush it's a bit more buildable because I'm just picking up a little bit at once but they build up really nicely too which is quite cool so you could almost use them as like a top coat or like I am just as their own eyeshadow. It's almost like a creamy kind of texture, like very similar to the Chi Chi eyeshadows and the Australis eyeshadows that I love, like those little creamy, magnificent metal kind of vibe. We do have some eyeliner to try though. This is the Waterproof Pen Liner in Kill Brown by Cleo. I actually may have tried this. It looks like this. Have I, tried? I feel like I may have tried it, but it looks very similar to like the Benefit tip on their roller liners. Just gonna do a wing. I'm gonna go semi dramatic since we've really not got a lot going on anyway. It's very pigmented. I'm gonna do the rest of my mascara and everything later on in the video because I just wanna do my base and put all my powders on first. I really like that. I think it's nice and easy to apply. I did go really thick on this side, which was kind of an accident. Um, but it's really pigmented, it covers up really good, like it's covering up the glitters and everything, and yeah, the colour is really pretty. I've got this Muji UV Base Colour Control SPF 50 Plus in yellow, and this looks Japanese, so I've kind of like really screwed up, like, I mean... I just call it K-Beauty because it's like K-Beauty, but like, no, okay, we've got some other stuff in here too. Either way, most of it's K-Beauty still. I'm excited. Muji. Isn't Muji like a friggin' stationary kind of brand? Like, am I mistaken? I don't know. So I've got that, and then I've also got three Concept Eyes Back to Baby Makeup Base, SPF 30. And this is in lavender, so it's nice and brightening. You guys may remember I loved the Lavender Becca um, base. Like, I just honestly think it's one of the best bases ever. So I thought this might be a good dupe. I'm gonna try some of it. Ooh, pretty. Lavender just really brightens up your skin, especially if you've got quite like sallow looking skin. Is that the word? Oh, it's quite thick. It smells like baby powder. Okay, you really don't need much of this. I really wanted the yellow one, but it was sold out. So literally I probably could have applied half of that amount because it really goes and goes, but you get the idea. I might try this one in another video. I'm very excited to try it though. Let's have a little sneak peek. Ooh, it comes in a little like droppy kind of form. I'm so excited. Do you guys remember when I was obsessed with the Bare Minerals Yellow Primer? That was like my OG and they just continued it. Like why? Oh my god, I loved that stuff. Comment below if you do remember. Alright, and then before we do our base, I'm just going to pop on some colour correcting concealer under my eyes and I might see if I've got, yeah, I've got like a blemish up here. So I've got a peach and a green. These are the Three Concept Eyes Cover Pops. So I'm just using my dual petal brush with the peach. And I'm just going to apply it to the darkest parts of my under eye. I really do need to go with my sponge so I can blend this out nicely. It's quite thick, but it does correct really, really well. Can you see the difference? I have not blended it out very well, but I don't know if you can see. And this is what the green one looks like, which is a really nice kind of color. It's not actually like bright green. It's, you know, more suitable for the skin. It's just got those undertones, which should help. So I'm gonna pop that where I've got these breakouts and just let it sit there and we'll see if it works. I really like this colour. The texture feels really good too. I hope it works well. Like I mean it has worked well now but I'm about to put foundation on top of it so we'll see if it like actually holds up. Alright so for the foundation we've got a cushion pack. This is the Jenny House Ultra Fit Serum Cushion Set in shade 23. I think it only comes in like two colours. What is underneath? It's like a big box and Oh cool, you get a refill, which is super good, and the little sponges, which I promise won't even use. I'll use my own sponge and step, but they are good for travel. You just pop them in here. So it's cool that they give you multiple, right? Containing truffle serum, which makes your skin smooth and hydrated. Feel the flawless skin with its perfect adherence. I already opened it up yesterday just to see the color, and yeah, I think it's going to be a little bit too pale, but hopefully not too bad. Um, we can always just pop on some cream bronzer from another brand I already have here. So I'm just going to dip it straight in and I'm going to put this all over. Oh the colour's not too bad. It's got a scent to it. Like sunscreeny but not. Like if I didn't have a fresh face tan on that'd probably be like my you know usual kind of skin tone after like my face tan's kind of just more natural looking. This is like fresh fresh. Now I don't think I could find like a bronzer either um, which was really random but I guess like bronzers just aren't as common. 
in like you know the k-beauty kind of scene that green concealer worked pretty good like this one's quite intense and it has helped it a lot you can still slightly see it but it's not bad i definitely think i'd use it again like these ones are covered up really really well the skin like oh the texture looks so good i really like the cushion foundation like it looks so buttery quite full coverage too i think i will do a little bit of cream bronzing but first let me just conceal my under eye i'm not gonna put too much because we've already covered most of it with the color corrector oh something's like rolling off my face is that the eye patches like it might have been too much moisture i've just gone overboard with all the moisture products but should be good now I did have a few different setting powders, so once again, like, we might have to try some in a different video. Oh, I had another eyeshadow palette! Oh my gosh, look. BBIA, that's the brand I think? Final Shadow Palette in Trot Star. Oh my god, and it's so pretty! Okay, I might just pop on a couple of colours from here too. So it looks like this. I'm just gonna pop on the, maybe this kind of warm shade. Just to add a little bit more colour to my eye, because at the moment, obviously we used a contour kit, so it kind of looks like a natural shadow. So I just want to add more colour. Oh, that's such a nice colour, and it just went on like a dream too. Might put some under my eyes in a second. Let's just sit under there, and then I can go back to this. Sorry, I'm all over the place, because I'm like really excited to try everything. Oh, look, I got two of these. I must have got one for mum. She'll be stoked. So the first one, I die. Hello Kitty Oil Control Blur Pat in Translucent, so it's just like a translucent powder. Comes with a little sponge and a little clear lid. And then the product looks like this. And then the other thing I got is Miko Plumage Soft Light Setting Powder in Lace Pink, which scares me. I don't know what this is. Well, this is made in Taiwan. Oh cool, cool, look, it's got three different shades in here. I might try this. The only problem is like you can't really use them separately. Because they will come out. Look. Alright, so I put a lot on. I'm just going to use this and mix all of the shades together. And I'm just going to do a really light dusting of this. My skin, I have to say, looks stunning. Minus the little, like, flaky bits from the eye mask. Just make sure you really let that soak in before you do makeup. If you're using them before makeup. Because, yeah, I didn't, like, blend it in enough. But it's just kind of sitting on the surface. And now my makeup's caught onto it. Kind of smells like grandma's, but... The finish of my skin looks really nice, like I still look glowy even though I used a loose powder and usually loose powder makes me look really matte and dusty. So these products together still give me a really glowy finish which I really like. I'm just going to blend it out into my eyes, a bit better. Looks quite nice, can't complain, a little bit pale but. So we've got this by Unleashia Tap Me Palette Duo. Once again these glittery, like, I don't even know, glitters down here. What would you use that for? In a corner? Highlighting, I mean, it's very intense for highlighter, but I suppose you could. It's like very festival. I just thought this color might be able to give me a little bit of bronze. So I'm just going to take a small amount and kind of put it at the back of my cheeks. Yeah, it's not, it's definitely blush. Like it's a deep berry kind of vibe. Blends out really nicely though. I think we'll have to go on with bronzer. I'm just going to contour with the contour kit. I think I might take this color here. The stupid flaky. Ah, oh, it's like ruined. I'm just taking the warmer colour. I might be able to actually just use the warmer tones in here as bronzer. Let's do that. It's actually a really nice colour for bronzer. Put it down my nose. And then another three concept eyes product. So this is the blush. Jewel Blend Blusher in Shrug. It comes with a little brush, which is cute. I'm going to mix both shades together and just give a bit of a pop of like a brighter color on the cheeks just to really freshen up my complexion. By the way, this brush is nice. This is from Sephora. Now we're going to go back in with the eyeshadow palette because I'm so all over the show. I'm going to take that same reddish kind of color and pop that under the eye. I love this eyeshadow color. It's so pretty. And then I'm going to take that inner, well, lit, that color in my inner corner. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm gonna put a little bit on my brow bone just because I feel extra today. I don't really need a brow powder, but I do have this one here. This is the Brow Master Eyebrow Kit by The Face Shop in 01. This is how it looks on the inside. I am just gonna use a little bit just on the edges. My eyebrows are tattered, so I don't need a lot. 
I just want like add a little bit of strength just at the tail and then I do have a mascara will pop on just to keep them in place. This is by another one of my favorite brands in the K-beauty scene. So this is Pony Effect. Contoured brow color in the shade Deep Brown. Beautiful packaging. And the brush looks like this. It's tapered. So it's longer on one side. Oh, I'm not even showing you very well. Can you see? That's just gonna define the hairs. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Nice color. Probably a little bit warmer than I'd like, but we'll roll with it. I'll just clean up above because I kind of got it everywhere. Mascara. So the mascara, this is Japanese, I think, as well. This is how you pronounce, I mean, say the brand, I mean, the, spell the brands. There we go. Suzanne. Suzanne? I don't know. The volume and long mascara looks like this. Give it a go. We do have some falsies too, guys. I feel like there's no product on the wand. It's very natural. Not really my cup of tea. This is probably... One of the least favorite things I've tried today, but it's not even bad. It's just like, meh. I'm just gonna keep doing this off camera and I'll pop on these lashes. So the lashes I got are by Imo. False eyelashes. They look like this. And the brand is spelled A-I-M-O. I don't know, but they look really pretty, right? Like little wispy baby lashes. So I'll come back once they're done. This is my lashes now. Okay, I'm just putting on lashes. Tell me why this lash literally has a bush. Like, can you see that? <laughs> what is happening? That's attached to the lash. I thought it was just like fluff from my room, but like, it's like part of it. Anyways, here's the after of the lashes. They were a bit of a mare to get on, but hopefully they stay put. I'm just gonna add a little bit more glitter because I really wanna try this purple one up top. I'm just gonna pat that right on top. It's pretty. I'm just using the little Huda Beauty brush because I figure the formula is very similar to their ones and this brush is like made for them, so. Oh, it's good. Oh, that's so pretty. And then just to finish off the eye makeup, I have this Moni McQueen New York Cherry Blossom Latte Gel Liner. It's like a shimmery nude. And I'm just popping that in the waterline. Maybe a little bit more on that inner corner too. This cup, I will link it below by the way. New business. This isn't like the basis of the business. I just wanted to make my own tumblers to celebrate. So we're launching a few. <laughs> All right, just before I do my um, highlighter and my lips. I've got this Mystic Glow by Yada. I haven't tried this brand before. So shaking it up. It looks like the iconic London one. I'm just going to do some test spritzes. Oh, that looks really fine. Okay, let's try it. I added quite a bit. It smells refreshing. Doesn't leave big globs on my face. It's a win. Feels really nice on the skin. That's a really fine mist. Use it on your body too. Oh, it's kind of addicting. Okay, addicting, addictive. Time for the lips. So I've got a few different products here. I've got a couple of lip pencils and a bunch of lipstick. So I'm just gonna open them all up so I can show you. Okay, jokes. I feel dumb, but tell me you would not look at these and think that they were lipsticks. Look, they are eye glitters and they are so stunning, but I'll try them in a future video because we've definitely got enough glitter on our eyes at this point. <laughs> so I've got this lipstick here. This is by Romand. And it is the Zero Matte Pink Sand Matte Lipstick. The packaging is so dope. Look at it. I love it. It reminds me of like Huda Beauty or something like that. Like something they would do. And it is this deep kind of pinky nudie mauve tone. Or I have this Holika Holika Heart Lipstick in shade 4. Which is more of like a reddish blushy kind of tone. So I might use the more reddish tone. I don't know why. I'm going to pop that one aside. Okay, this is actually really cool. I pulled off the lid because of the plastic. It's got a little brush so you can blend with it. But anyway, this is the FMGT Designing Soft Lip Liner in Jazz Beige by The Face Shop. Okay, the lip pencil shape is really nice. It's like this little oval. Hmm, I rate that. It's a really nice shape to be able to draw with. I want to make my own like this now. It's a very creamy consistency. It's more like a lipstick almost than like a lip pencil. So you could wear it alone. I'm not sure how well it will last. Like I'm sure it'll still last well. You know what I mean though? Like the color is bomb. Okay, anyways, we're gonna try the lipstick. So yeah, it's shade four. It's like a little love heart. How cute is that? Hmm, glossy. I'm kind of focusing it on the inner rim and blending it out. And this is a color I don't usually go for. I think it looks really pretty. And we do have a lip gloss. This is by Rom... Romand? 
Glasting Water Gloss in Sanho Crush. And it looks very 90s, like I live for it. Look at it. It's got a little dough for applicator. Hmm. It smells like juice. And it's just like a super glossy, like this is unlike anything else I have. Oh my god, this lash is flung off. It's um real like jelly-like in texture, like watery looking too, like super glossy. Like it doesn't look like a sticky lip gloss, like it actually Oh, is it plumping? It feels like it's plumping a little bit. Um, like tingling my lips. But yeah, it just looks wet. It's like wet look rather than glossy look. I don't know how to describe it any better than that. These inner corners are bothering me. I really like this. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, I will use that again. Oh my god, it feels really like, cooling on my lips. It's definitely got some kind of plump to it. Now let's finish off with the Kathy Doll Hello Kitty Highlighter in Sand Glow. I'm just going to use the little brush it comes with. I'm just going to pop that on my cheek. Oh, that's so nice. Nice kind of golden undertone. The brush is actually quite handy too because it's very thin so you can just kind of like slide it along. I'm going to do a little bit on my nose and a little bit on my chin. They almost look green, eh, these tattoos. <laughs> I'm zooming you all the way out so you can see the finished makeup. It's very polished, very pretty. I feel like my skin started to look a little bit cakey over time. I don't know if that's like from the um, loose powder or if that's from the foundation. I love this lip combo. Like this is the prettiest like everyday wearable kind of red vibe. It's not necessarily a red, it's more like peachy pinky, but do you know what I mean? Like it gives off that red lip vibe. Oh, I love. I would recommend those. I really, really, really like the liquid eyeliner. I did get a little bit of concealer on it, so it's looking a little bit dull, but and the like glittery eyeshadows are so nice. I do like the contour kit, but I feel like it doesn't have a lot of longevity. I'm not too sure. Maybe I need to experiment with it a little bit more. The highlighter is stunning. Look at that. It's like a wet look. And I did really like the um, color correctors and the foundation like went on really nicely. Love K-Beauty products. If there's any brands I haven't used or you don't know if I've used them, like comment below and I can purchase more stuff and do some more of these because I just love trying out K-Beauty products. Oh, this lash. This lash is gonna come off in like 20 minutes, I swear. The lashes I wouldn't recommend because they were just like weird, not like, uh, you saw like the big tuft of like nylon. I don't know what was up with that. So, probs, not super keen on the lashes. They do look really pretty once they're on, but god, they're just not sticking. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll link everything below, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!